بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ویلکم بیک ٹو مائی یوٹیوب چینل اینڈ آئی ہوپ یو وڈ بی فائن سو دس ویڈیو وڈ بی اباؤٹ لائننگ ٹو ڈفرینٹ مالیکیولس ایگزیکٹلی ان فرنٹ آف ایچ ادر اینڈ آلسو میرنگ دا ڈسٹینس فرام بٹوین دا بانڈس اینی بانڈ لائک ڈبل بانڈ اور ٹرپل بانڈ So you know in God's view you can uh, measure the distance from atoms but you cannot measure the distance from the center of a bond to another bond or another atom. So I'll show you in this video how can you do that and uh, uh, I, was, uh, I also had a question that if uh, you want to align two CO molecules uh, for example um, like this one. right in front of each other uh, and uh, you can measure the distance between these this triple bond from here to here how how can you do that and then you can um, safely move them away like adjust the difference to any amount like 3 angstrom 4 angstrom whatever you want and they should be perfectly aligned to each other like o should be in front of o and c should be in front of c or vice versa uh, so I'll show you in this video how can you do that first uh, we need to use the optimized molecule whatever molecule you are taking so I have optimized this CO molecule I'll just copy it and uh, in a new file I'll paste it you can see that I have copied this CO molecule here now there is a function in Gauss view if you click on this element fragment you can see that uh, there are different uh, elements and there is a dummy atom here so the dummy atom it is for your ease it is uh, it is for you that you can do uh, things that you cannot normally do like uh, mirroring the distance from the center of a bond or anything else or adjusting the coordinates and it will not be included in the calculation so it will not have any effect even if it is placed there uh, so that is the beauty of it so what I'll do is I'll just uh, put a dummy atom between uh, this bond so first uh, let's have a look at the uh, bond length of this molecule it is 1.13896 so I'll just write down in the calculator 1.13896 and now I want to put dummy atom exactly in the middle of this bond so I'll just divide it by 2 to see the answer so it is 0.56948 and so I'll put it uh, at this distance from this atom and the other one as well so let's try to put the dummy atom and just click here so now I can press the alt and shift button on a windows computer to just move this atom so I'll try to put it in the center and now I'll adjust the bone length using this length tool so you can see that 0.56820 I'll just make it exactly as the uh, software suggested uh, so the calculator suggested now you can see that 0.56973 and 0.56948 oh no sorry I'll not change it cancel so that is now right in the middle of this uh, CO and if you can rotate you can see that uh, it is perfectly fitted there so now if I want to move this whole molecule I would like that the CO also moves with it so I'll just create a, a bond between carbon and this dummy atom any bond like you can uh, just select this one and okay now it is attached to it so now I want to make another molecule and place it in front of it so I'll just press ctrl C and then click here 
and I got another molecule now I can press alt and shift and move this molecule uh, and the best way to align right in front of it is that uh, place it exactly on top of it first and see that uh, it is perfectly aligned now I'll move it a little bit to the right as much as I can see both dummy atoms and then I'll select this tool oh sorry I can't I can't yeah I have selected both atoms now you can use this uh, value or you can use the slider to move these atoms apart and you can see that they will be perfectly aligned in front of each other So I'll just yeah I'll move it a bit upwards because while moving to the right it went a little downwards. Now it's perfect. Yeah. So you can see that uh, let's say you want to make it three angstrom. I'll make it three and click OK and they are right in front of each other like if you look from behind one you will see that the other one is uh, it's hidden behind the other so uh, they are perfectly in front of each other now the next thing is if you uh, optimize them they will of course go somewhere else uh, where the ground state is more stable so you can also freeze the atoms so that they don't move like if you want to optimize the uh, bond length but not the you do not want to change the position of the atoms you can uh, do that by freezing the atoms in their place so now I'll go to tools and atom groups here uh, you can see an option of freeze so in freeze no it has had atoms number one to six they have uh, not uh, been frozen so in freeze yes if I just write down one dash six you can see that now they are the green color is for freeze yes so they are they will be frozen now and uh, from view labels you can see the atom numbers so if you want to just selectively freeze some atoms but not the others you can write down the numbers of atoms like uh, let's let's try uh, we don't want to freeze the dummy atoms so in freeze no I'll just write 3 comma 6 so now you can see that they have the red uh, highlight it means these two atoms will not be frozen while 1 2 and 4 5 will be frozen in this calculation so I'll just uh, click OK and now you can go to calculate and uh, do anything like uh, optimization or frequency or whatever uh, method and uh, if I edit and save it uh, like one two three and here you will be able to see that in front of the atoms who are frozen minus one is written so minus one means they are frozen and if there is a zero it means they will not be frozen and they will be optimized really so that is how you can uh, align two different molecules perfectly even from within center of the bond and uh, you can freeze different atoms uh, as per your need um, I hope the concept is clear now and uh, you would uh, you would understand this concept and if you have any question relating to it you can post in the comment section and uh, I'll try to come up come back as soon as I can uh, and thank you very much for watching bye bye